I was at a Dynamics community event this last week and I wanted to share with you some of the questions that I got at this event. That's coming up. What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube. And last week I got to participate in the Dynamics Community event, which was their Summit 16. Very similar to past Summit, but this was focused on the Dynamics Community in general. And I was there Thursday and Friday. Thursday night I got to participate in a panel, which was just 150 people in the room and got to answer questions that they had. And then on Friday, I helped out in what they called their idea pods, which was similar to like SQL Clinic at Pass Summit, but it was just helping individuals with Power BI specifically. And then Friday afternoon, I got to deliver a session on deployment options and security with Power BI. I had a lot of fun meeting new people as I wasn't really part of that community in general, so everyone was kind of a new face. And there were a lot of great questions, a ton of interest in Power BI, which was great to see. So let's dig into some of the questions they had that may help you out. One of the questions I had was about Dynamics 365. There was an announcement last week about some Power BI integration with that. There's not a whole lot of details around what that's actually gonna entail. Some things that I was able to gather and share out was, I guess in AX7 or in CRM, there's going to be on the home screen as part of that product, you will be able to pin some tiles, some Power BI tiles into the home screen itself. I also got a lot of questions around how do I embed Power BI into my product or into my site or just anywhere without writing code because I'm not a developer. And I'll link to a video down below about the different Power BI embedding options that are available to you. I talked a lot about publish to web, although that has some security concerns because there's no authentication around it. So you have to be very careful about who you share that out with. I also mentioned about the REST API and how you can use that, but you do have to write JavaScript along with it. So there is a developer play there. One item I did mention is that if you're using SharePoint Online, there is a Power BI Tiles app in the SharePoint store that is from DevScopes that you can use. And it's really easy to get that up and running without any code, uh, any developer experience whatsoever. So if you're using SharePoint Online, be sure to check that out. I got some interesting questions around data capacity inside of Power BI with regards to free licenses and pro licenses. There was some general confusion about how that actually works. So with a free user, you get one gigabyte of data capacity. And if you have a pro license, you get 10 gigabyte of, of data capacity. And if you're using a group with inside of Power BI, that group gets 10 gigabytes of individual space. And so if I upload a one gigabyte Power BI desktop file, if I'm a free user, that's gonna eat up my entire data capacity. If I'm a pro user, that's gonna eat up one gig out of my 10 gig. And if I upload that to a group, the group will incur that one gigabyte, but my individual user is separate from that. So I, that won't show up under my user's 10 gigabyte data capacity. So groups are very cool if you wanna isolate some stuff away from your individual user account. And also it's portable as well. So if you leave the company, it's still there for other people. I also had a lot of questions about custom visuals. If you're not familiar with custom visuals, custom visuals are items that you can download and include into Power BI Desktop. So they don't come with Power BI Desktop out of the box, but they are things that you can add to your reports that other people may have created. And so if you wanna check out custom visuals, go to visuals.powerbi.com and you can see what's there, download those and include those into Power BI Desktop. I had a couple questions around like, how do I even use Power BI if my company's not using it or if my organization doesn't use Office 365? And the answer is that you can sign up for Power BI as an individual and start using it today. It's free. So you can kick the tires on it, see if it's a good fit for your organization. If you go to powerbi.com, you can get started by downloading Power BI Desktop and start using that to create reports and pull in data. And then if you sign up for Power BI from powerbi.com, enter in your work email address, you can get right into the Power BI service itself. That is free as well. There are features that are considered pro content, so you should be aware of that. Check out the pricing page. I'll have that link down below that you can check out to see what some of those items are. Those really center around using the gateway to refresh from on-premises, as well as collaboration type items, such as using groups or content packs with inside of Power BI. Also, row level security is a pro feature as well. Okay, that's just a quick recap of some of the questions I got 
last week during the Dynamics Conference. I hope you found them interesting. I will be doing this same type of video after the past summit to kind of highlight some of the questions we got in the SQL Clinic that may be useful to you as well. Let me, now, let me know down in the comments if you thought these were useful. Did you have maybe a question that I didn't answer? Or what was your favorite question out of the ones that I did highlight? And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Every Tuesday I do a technical item such as this where I just look at how things work inside of Power BI and the business intelligence products of Microsoft. So thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.